Hey guys, today we're making chili mac and cheese in our crock pot. You can get the full recipe in the link in the description. Now, today's recipe is crock pot chili mac and cheese. So it's basically chili and mac and cheese got married and had a baby and it was chili mac, okay? Make something healthy for diabetics, please. This is not considered technically healthy, but however, let me do my crackers I was munching on. We do have lots of healthier options on our website, eatingonadime.com. Okay, I just wanna make sure that's set up right. Okay, so now that you guys are on here, first off, for those of you who are hearting and liking and sharing the video, thank you so much. That helps out a ton, I love it. Um, Let's get cooking. Okay, so crock pot chili mac. So I started off with meat already browned in my slow cooker. Since I have a five in one, like slow cooker, digital cooker is what they're called. You can get these on Amazon. Um, just search like five in one digital slow cooker. But what they do is it allows me to brown my meat inside the pot so I don't have to wash a bunch of other dishes. You don't have to do that. If you don't have a fancy crock pot, just brown it over here on your stove and toss it in. Now I did like drain everything off. So I have my beef already browned. The normal recipe calls for one pound, but I doubled it to make it extra beefier for my larger family. So I do this in a lot of my recipes instead, because for those of you who don't know, I have eight children. We have six of them currently living at home and one, two, three, four of them are basically grown men plus my husband. So um, cause they're all teenage boys that eat a ton. So hi, Barbara from Canada. So I like to double up on some things without having to double the whole recipe. So adding extra meat is a great way. Another way is you could just add more beans to make it a little bit heartier if needed. Okay. So we're going to throw in an onion, half an onion, which I meant to dice it up before we hopped on here, but I didn't. So mistakes were made. If I start crying, you'll just have to put up with me. Okay, so we're gonna quickly dice up an onion. You could leave this out, honestly. If you haven't watched my video and my um, post on how to cut an onion, like how to dice an onion, make sure you go back and watch it because it's so much easier to dice up. Okay. I got that in there. Quick mix around. Get those separated. Then we are going to throw in two cans of chili beans. Now I am just using a oh, regular can, just off-brand chili beans. You can drain them or leave them, leave them in if you want to. I'm going to leave one of the sauce in so that way it acts to help thicken up the chili. And then I'm going to drain the other one a little bit. Okay. Now, if you don't want to just use chili beans and you want to control the flavor a little bit more, then you could do kidney beans, pinto beans, any of those as well. Yes, you can get the website at eatingonadime.com or you can just search. Um, I'm sorry, you can say the word recipe below and we'll send it to you. Okay, I'm just draining out some of that. Toss it in. Then let me get my uh, spoons. I forgot to grab my minced garlic. Okay, so now we're gonna throw in some minced garlic. You could mince your own garlic, but I don't do that. We just buy it pre-minced. But if you want to, you can mince your own or you could throw in some garlic powder, but you're gonna need about a quarter of what the recipe calls for. So since we called for a teaspoon, you would need like a quarter teaspoon of powder in this recipe. Now we're gonna throw in some crushed tomatoes and some diced tomatoes. If your kids are really finicky about like diced tomatoes and their stuff, just double your crushed. Um, you can do regular or today I'm going to do fire roasted just for something a little bit different, but either one works great. Open this up. You are so welcome. Thanks so much for watching me. I hope I inspired you to make something 
a little bit easy, but still delicious. It's a fun version of a chili. I'm loving my new can opener I got from Amazon. It's um, super easy to use, especially when you're left-handed. I know it looks like I'm not left-handed, but this is my right hand on, because it's usually, sometimes it's flip-flops on the video. Okay. Throwing that in there. We're going to throw in our seasonings. So we're going to start off with some salt and pepper. Sprinkle that in. Some pepper. Some cumin. And then chili powder. We're going to need a whole tablespoon of chili powder. It is chili after all. I'm running low on my chili powder. Throw that in. Okay, then we're going to do two cups. Of, if you have beef broth, you can use beef broth today. I'm just going to use water um, just because I didn't have any broth left over. But it'll still be delicious because we're slow cooking this. Okay. Throw that in. Okay, give it a quick stir. And this part is already ready. That's how easy this is. So we're going to add the lid and you can slow cook this on low or on high. I'm obviously going to do this on high since it's later in the day. We are going to pop this lid on. We will let that cook and let all the flavors combine. Let those onions get soft. Then all we're going to do is stir in the uncooked macaroni. So you do not have to cook this over here on your stovetop. You're going to stir this in in the last 20 to 30 minutes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours, 30 minutes before I'm ready to serve. I'm going to stir my, um, we tell you exactly how much in the recipe. We're going to stir our macaroni into this pot, let it cook, and then we're going to stir in cheddar cheese. Then did you... Oh, what kind of can opener this is. My can opener is the OXO. My sister told me about it. I believe you can get it like at Walmart and Target as well as on Amazon. Okay, but I really like it. I mean, I had the Pampered Chef one forever, um, but I really like this one. It's easier for me. But anyway, we're going to stir this in. We're going to top it with cheddar cheese, and you're going to serve it with your favorite chili um, toppings. So from more cheese to fresh onions to sour cream, to pico, whatever you like on top of your chili. You can serve it with cornbread, crackers, whatever you like on your chili. This will be the perfect dinner. So it's comfort food, but it's a one pot dinner and it's a fun change up to chili night. Okay. Hey, Cindy and Ember. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. I'm so glad you're on here. Thanks so much. Okay, so this is how easy it is to make. All I got to do is clean up just a few things, and I won't have to worry about a dirty kitchen tonight. At the end of the day, this is what's really important to me for a family-friendly dinner, is the only thing we're going to have to hand wash is one dish. Everything else can go into the dishwasher, um, and it's a very easy cleanup. And at the end of the night, we just have one dish that needs to be clean. So that way we can do things that we want to do with our family instead of cooking and cleaning. Okay, drop the word recipe below. We will send you the full link um, for our chili mac and cheese. You can always get it just by going to eatingonadime.com and using our search button. But thanks so much. I haven't done a live in a while with the Thanksgiving and all the busy family stuff. So I appreciate you joining me and I will see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, you can get the full recipe with the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more family-friendly recipes. And you can always stay updated with our recipes at eatingonadime.com. I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends.